What's up guys, GM Badges here. Today, we are tuning the Silverado. Through the white one on there, just so it could be a bit more noticeable. Um, but yeah, as you can see, have the check engine light for that one code for the knock sensors. Let's turn this on. We don't have a check engine light anymore, which is beautiful. And uh, she does sound pretty good. Um, because we did that drive shaft and transmission replacement not too long ago, it is still uh, headers, straight pipe, no cats. Here we go. Keep right to stay on Texas 121. Keep right to stay on Texas 121 Frontage Road. This breezy tune uh, is legit. I've had a tune before, like I said, by someone in Dallas, and that didn't work out. But yeah, Breezy, you're the man, bro. I appreciate it. It's come to my attention that the setup that we that we did is actually very bright and blinding. This is very blinding. I recommend switching to this setup over here. For that last video, we threw that daytime running light socket down there. So we're going to have to pull this out. And we're going to have to cut this socket from uh, these two wires right here and we added this new socket wires uh, take this off once we cut the wires we'll tape them off leave that there and then we're going to use these wires and connect them to these wires that that'll be open so yeah and this is what the new hazards will look like because your turn signals are not on the inside but now these orange ones stay on whenever you lock the truck. Like, you know how you have your accessibility lights? And before, there was never any on or off. You just lock the truck, and it would do those white ones right there, and then it would stay off. But if the truck has been on, or if you unlock the truck, these orange ones stay on. Which is pretty neat, actually. Actually, the last thing I did was the bottom two, uh, LED bulbs down here, uh, they're placed, so same setup, but I did switch them. If you tap into that brown light that I didn't uh, connect, this one also turns white, and both of them are running, so it's the same thing as before, but if you leave it off, um, it'll actually just be off. Um, this will actually be your daytime running light, and it will be orange, and it actually looks pretty nice. Night, it should look like this with the top ones on and uh, this is a nice setup so i really recommend this setup and you don't get blinded by it so uh do as you will a clip of the truck uh moving but uh one of these uh wires down here burnt from touching the headers so that won't be happening until i get some new wires what i will be doing is installing these which are two inch lift springs for max truck um yeah i got a I got them on eBay, uh, or you can skip to another part of the video, uh, time right here, and uh, I'll tell you about the GM badges that are coming out. So yeah, I don't see any videos on YouTube of anyone putting like lift springs on uh, Silverados like these, just like a simple leaf spring. Uh, all the, the springs that they do are with like blocks or coils or something else but these are just springs Alrighty, i'm not teaching you how to jack up your truck but jack up your truck preferably put it on two two jack stands on the mainframe um make sure you get it up pretty high because once you put the springs on there it will lower this assembly um so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt the shock and the soy bar end link from the soy bar first thing uh next is removing the uh, brake caliper and the support and of course do not let it hang uh so support it by something else um i think it's 19 millimeter uh, next we're gonna remove the rotor this is a t30 uh torx and once we remove it we're also gonna uh, unbolt the uh abs sensor that runs up that's next Definitely be uh, be careful taking that uh, T30 Torx off. Um, I know that I've had to replace a lot of them because uh, they get messed up. So if you're taking it off of the drill, take it off carefully. All right, so next uh, we're unbolting the tie rod. 
um, once you loosen up the tie rod and break it loose by hitting the side of the spindle with a hammer, um, after that you're going to position a, an adjustable jack um, right on the spindle and you're going to loosen up the upper ball joint. Again, you're going to hit it on the side, disconnect the hub assembly from the upper control arm uh, and you move the jack out of the way. It should just be fine. If you've uh, jacked it up enough and you put it on jack stands high enough, the lower control arm should come down enough to where it should just come out. Next day, we're doing the passenger side. I didn't know that if you didn't um, have new, new rubber um, pads or whatever these are called, you are gonna have to use the old ones. And as you can see, they kind of have a shape from being in there for a while. Um, all I did is uh, kind of put them more forward than they actually should fit. That way they don't keep eating into those uh, dents and wearing it out faster. Um, if you're 200 pounds and fit, you should be able to get this alone without any compression springs. Um, if you're under 200 pounds and don't, uh, you will want to clean these two areas before you throw them back in. Um, they are a fairly similar size it doesn't look like they're that much bigger but they do lift the truck a, a, a whole lot from what i see and um but yeah let's go ahead and um put it back in once we clean this those pigtails right there is what they're called the the end of that spring will have to also go in there so don't try to like that that always has to be done right don't try to put it over here on that side um, that will mess up all your driving for sure. Put it back in there. Slide it straight up in here. Make sure the pigtails align. Right? It may not fit like, like we said straight in. So push down on the lower control arm until it does fit and line up. And then you want to push up really, really hard against it. So yeah. And that's it. Once it's aligned, the top uh, may not fully be inside of that, uh, I'm not sure what that's called, the mount, um, but that's fine. Go ahead and uh, start pushing it up and jacking it up. So once the spring is in, uh, you, you'll jack up this assembly a bit, and then you'll throw a jack stand down here um, into this ring, and then you'll lower the assembly, let that catch onto that. Because the assembly will be too low on the ground in order for you to get your jack under it. So now with that up and that compressed a bit, you're able to throw your jack, your, uh, jack under this and actually throw it up more. So you'll do that a couple times and eventually you'll get it up to where it kind of meets the tie rod. Um, uh, you may or may not be able to get the tie rod in there if you are good, if you're not, it's fine. Um, you'll switch the jack from this position to this position uh, under this nut over here and that'll help you align it with the, the top. All right, guys, so the, the passenger side was a bit more difficult than the driver's side to realign with uh, that upper control arm joint, but uh, nonetheless, it went in and it looks good. Um, this is on a two inch, or no, I'm sorry, three inch leveling kit uh, by Rough Country. So if you're on a regular spindle, I'm not sure how difficult it is going to be to get back up. Um, but it wasn't too bad to get it back up uh, for me. You may have to, you may even uh, be able to get this done by raising the truck up less than I did. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put back the uh, brake system and um, put on this nut and uh, back in reverse order. I put the suspension back on. Everything's pretty loose, has room to move around. Chevy, this is a really designed by running this cable right up against the spring as you can see it's really tight 
it does work and everything has room um but yeah the sway bar end link that came off was very worn and bad uh, so that is getting replaced with a new one uh, they don't cost a lot to replace and the, the replacements have nuts on each end instead of having a nut and a washer nut um, so it helps a lot to put these back on so yeah this is going to go back on before the shock sheesh all right guys we just got to the gas station the ride over here was really so it does need an alignment uh, as soon as tomorrow if you saw my insta story um, a couple days ago i removed the three inch rough country blocks from the back because it jacked up the truck a lot and it didn't even really make it look like a lift looking at it now it looks like the front is elevated a lot more um again that rough country three inch level the spindle level um makes the wheels pop out so i feel like if i added a spacer in the back it'd look even uh i am gonna give the the springs a few days to settle um because i don't know if they're always gonna look this tall but yeah guys they look great um this is what they look like inside i mean yeah uh, the install is not that bad it will take you a full day if you're by yourself uh if you saw the whole video it took me two days because i started late but yeah i'll get after the alignment and after i give them time to settle i'll see if uh if it's necessary to put on the three inch blocks but yeah for now guys it looks really good i'm happy with how it looks and lights look really clean as we had stated so that's what they look like yeah clean yeah guys so thank y'all for watching um update for the badges okay so basically if you've ordered a badge you'll know that uh your your order has come with freebies and things like that um basically now on the website it'll just reflect how many you're actually buying so um instead of the price that it is now for one you'll actually be getting two um so that goes for any color as well as uh, custom ones for example this camouflage one um i am able to get um custom ones flags anything like that um and they will be right now for the same price um later on as i get feedback it will go up to the price as the special badges are now if you place an order for like a white one you'll be getting uh, two white ones if you place an order for two blue ones you'll be getting two blue ones um, um as well as for the special badges um if you order one if you order like a raza flag you'll be getting two instead of one this is for show purposes only what you do with this badge is uh, solely up to you um i've been getting a lot of comments um and that i won't really give them any light but yeah what you do with this badge is solely up to you um whether or not your airbag airbags work your airbag activity is you is your responsibility not mine um if if your airbag does deploy wherever this badge ends up whether it's your nose or somewhere in your truck is is not my responsibility gm badge's responsibility um you can choose to glue it on you can choose to leave it as it is um you can choose to hang it up you can choose to gift it to someone you can do whatever you want with it um but i am not responsible if your airbag goes off and it somehow injures you um and that's if you glue it on or you don't glue it on uh, anything like that um it is made of polycarbonate it, it is not 3d printed so this does not break i do plan to do a torture test soon um thank you guys for watching the installation of the lift springs hope you guys liked it um it is a very easy mod that you can do for 200 dollars uh, or so and it is really it's really nice um as you can see i'll post an update video later but yeah thank you guys for watching um if you want a badge gmbadges.com yeah for the custom ones you'll just have to put in uh the message of what you're specifically specifically looking for and um we'll message you back if we're able to do it <laughs> Oh, wow.
Sorry the video is so late guys. One final clip of how it looks with the three inch blocks in the back. Um, it looks really good. It's about the same height as a new truck on 20 inch wheels and no lift. And I'm on some 17 inch uh, 265s right now. Um, but yeah, I like this setup and I think it's gonna stay for a while. Yeah, the tree did fall on it. That kind of sucks, but nothing that can be fixed. Yeah. But yeah, guys, thank y'all for watching and have a good day. Go out and get it. Club, my mouth chain blessing. Come through, hop out, cage blessing. It ain't nothing to swing your street. Yeah, he cool, but he ain't no me. I introduce you niggas to motion. All this beef can't even focus. Trying to be me, gotta get in action. You told that five for fashion.